Good morning. Today I'm getting ready my interlining to put into some curtains that I'm making. I'm making pitch pleat curtains but this won't be ready until three weeks time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-warn you to get ready to see this video. On my table behind me there is the interlining. As you can see, the thickness of it. So I've got it ready laid out on my table. And there is two ways to stitch up the side. The side. I'm gonna take the easy option. When I see other professionals do things this way, I think, why not me? Right, so one is that when you stitch the side of this interlining, you can stitch one on top of the other and just straight stitch it all the way down. And when I mean one on top of the other, let me get a bit out of the dustbin what I put in. Here is a bit of fabric. What they've done is just put it on top. This is difficult. Put it on top, just like that, and stitched it on top. Can you see it? Like that. Or what we do normally is stitch it this way, two together, Two together with an overlocker on a blanket stitch and very loose and then you pull the fabric aside stretch it aside and they lay on each other let's see if I can do this And then they will lay on each other side by side like that, giving you a much. This is very difficult. Lay on each other just side by side with a blanket stitch going across and it's nice and flat. That is the proper way to do it. But this one, I'm going to do it the other way around. But the lesson is... When I've done all that, then, then I will show you how I connect it to the main fabric. Yeah? I say within three weeks because I'm waiting for another fabric to come in for the border and it's coming in on the 2nd of December. But I thought I'll just show you this now as a little teaser. So if you want to see it, how to put an interlining into your curtains, watch this space. Thank you for watching this.